Okay, it's John Miles here, and I'm going to show how to set up the tabletop chin rest. And the kit, it comes with five pieces. There are two support pillars here, the twin support pillars. There is the hardwood bamboo base, eco-friendly and uh, very durable, and it doesn't show the wear as much as melamine. And then there's the crossbar, which has the camera support, and that will go right here on the two pillars. And then the uh, chin rest, forehead rest combo unit that goes right at the front, and that will also be mounted on the crossbar. So the first step here is to get the pillars mounted on the base. I'm taking the thumb nuts off first, and there's uh, four thumb nuts, and the longer um, post that's an inch long goes down and through the hole and the top is marked T.O.P. and it's a shorter 5 8 inch and uh, they're both the same like that so they're interchangeable and then what you do is in on the base there's a hole for each pillar and they also have an alignment T so you line the T for of the word top up with the T that's mounted right there it goes right there and then after that gets in there you just put on the nut and I'll just uh, twirl that on and then the best way to tighten this is where you get it finger tight with this backed off about 45 degrees and while you hold the nut you turn this the last 45 degrees the last eighth of a turn and it's very nice and tight the same procedure here we get the uh, pillar with the T of the word top lined up with that Put this on the long end here at the bottom. Um, back it off about 45 degrees to get it really good and tight. And then while you hold that, you need to rotate that in until it's parallel. Now that's really sturdy. Then you get the uh, crossbar here, the camera support bar. And that goes right on the two quarter inch holes. And one end for the chin rest will stick out a bit more there. It can go either way. And then you take these two and these back in place and this can be made vertical to get out of the way and then those two you just get those nice and snug then um, this is uh, brought up and you get this next path last part is the forehead rest and chin cup and you take this clamping knob off and bring it in through this frontmost hole and then twirl that on and here again to get it nice and snug you back this off a little bit from the final position torque this up and then push this the rest of the way now when you're taking it apart it, it might be kind of tight there and if so just use a pair of pliers like this to uh, back that off like so. And you can also use the pliers to target it up to get it really stable. And the same thing for this. If you decide to reposition this or mount it somewhere else, you can take this off. But I made it super tight and you have to use these pliers to uh, loosen it. But normally there's not much reason to take that apart. <clears throat> Unless you want to mount this portion instead of on the twin pillar tabletop base, you could mount it on a tripod using one of these alternate holes. And for that purpose, generally you want to move this to the uh, rear hole and support it here so it's under the center of gravity. But this whole bar could be taken off and mounted on a tripod. So that is the whole unit right there. And the way it works, first step is uh, notice the little tiny hole here. Um, that is called the eye position and you want the center of the eye to be right there about an inch below the forehead rest and then in order to do that you adjust this until the person is at just the right height so their forehead is here and their eye is right there. Now when they are lined up with these little holes here then um, that's the height of their eye of the center of the pupil and, and that's also the position where the camera will be perfectly level on the lens axis will come right in there. Then uh, there is this adjustment which should be made pretty snug because it's supporting the weight of the camera. 
This one is not super critical, it's just pointing at left or right eye. And this is, of course, the focusing knob, which you operate generally while you're ready to take a picture with the other hand. And then this is a tension adjustment for the focus track. Now when you get this with the camera, the mounting plate is already mounted on the camera, but if you get it by itself, you need to mount this plate on your camera. And the first thing to notice, there's a little brass lever here, and it's a lock. And when it's pointing that way, you can't open this and the camera can't come off. If you want to remove the camera or the plate, you have to pull this back so it's pointing straight back, and then you can pull that, and then it'll latch open and you can lift this up. This camera mounting plate here will then go right onto your camera. So, for example, if this is your camera here, a nice uh, fixed side lighting model, then you just turn this over and you make it so this shorter edge here, the shorter edge is goes to the front, so it goes to the iris, towards the subject, towards the client. And then you just position that there and you get it parallel to the camera body, like so, and then you torque that up nice and snug, and then you push that down so it's not in the way, and then that mounts uh, simply by uh, tilting it down, putting it in there. And here's a very important last step. You have to squeeze this tight shut. So after you mount this, you have to squeeze this lever nice and snug, and then it's all ready to go. And with that, then now you're ready to take iris photos.